Ooh, welcome back to the 100K Podcast, Season 3, Episode 17. Super wild card weekend with the boys. Playoff time, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Jeffy the man, the man, the man. And Morg's my bigger man. Jeff, how are you? I'm good, Dust. What is the difference between a pickpocketer and a peeping Tom? What's that? One snatches you watch, the other watches you snatch. <laughs> Do you oh. find that late? That's, that's incredible. <laughs> that's, oh, that's one of my favourites. Lewis, ever. how are you, son? I'm good. I feel crook. We had about, what do we have, Dallas? A quarter pounder with three patties before yeah, the show. Th- three patties. I feel like shit, but oh. other than that, I'm fantastic. Some extra cheese, some nuggies. No sauce, though. They didn't give us the sauce. Bad by us. Good prelude into 24 hours at that place. Massive 24 hours. Yeah, it is upcoming. Hey, boys, last week. 12 out of 21 leagues we hit, running at 57%. Mate, we're getting into the pointy end of the season. You guys know the loser of this week spends 24 hours at McDonald's uh, for every Big Mac you eat. That is an hour off. So either way, you're looking at probably about 14 hours. Depends how hungry you are. Jeff, some good legs, uh, bad legs last week. Bad legs? Yeah, I was. I went all in on the Seahawks and they got it done, but I took Kenneth Walker for a TD. He was extremely stiff. Geno Smith for 225 yards, extremely stiff. And DK for 60 yards. Not often DK doesn't... Doesn't get his 60, so... Got locked up. They were pretty average legs. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey had two interceptions, so he got locked up. But they still got the job done. I had him at the money line. So, Lewis, bad legs? Bad legs, yeah. I sort of went all in on Dallas, and they just got torched by the com- the commander's Dallas. I had CD, steak and eggs, and Dallas money line. And then I had Tyler Algier I had any time. He had 134 yards on 25 attempts, just couldn't score for me. So, that cost me. I didn't have a great week. Yeah, I had uh, Joe Mixon and a fucking... God damn it. Yeah, four, didn't have 40 Pretty rushing it. yards. Um, And then the Packers just packed it in against the Detroit Lions. I had AJ Dillon to score... And Aaron Jones over 58 and a half. They didn't get anywhere near that. They couldn't get anything going. Great game by the Lions. Really good last game of the year. Uh, good legs, Jeff. Yeah, so Ken Walker for 60 yards, tick. Yeah. Steak and eggs, Jamal Williams over 56 and a half, tick. And Jamal Williams, TD. Absolutely love the Lions. The absolute team to watch next year. I was banned from betting on them early in the year because I kept losing on them, but I'm going to be back next year. Lou? Yeah, I think there's a lot of people would rather them in the playoffs than Seattle. But nonetheless, I had uh, Bengals money line, that hit. Tyler Boyd, 25, the cash cow. And then Vikings money line. Dollar thirty four last week. That was just a business bet, Dust. One hundred percent. Same. You know, another business bet was the Bills last yeah, week. You always bets. knew they were going to bounce back. I had Bills money line. Josh Allen. We said that he's going to really start getting a lot better coming to the pointy end of the season. He had two twenty five yards. Stephon Diggs had his sixty. Uh, he's sorry, he's seventy yards. Jamar Chase had sixty. And Cam Akers fifty yards. He's had like a hundred. 100 plus in his last three games. So he really finished bet. off the year. He, for a while there, looked like he was going to get cut by the Rams, but finished off the year really strongly. Now, we actually are, because we only have the six games, instead of going back to just like a quarterback, running back, wide receiver leg, we've actually been able to, because all the markets are out, actually do the 100K like we used to. So we're just going to roll through the games here. So we'll start off Seattle versus the 49ers, Jev. Um, the fuck, these games are all going to be unbelievable. Uh, who are we liking in this one? Yeah, I'm going all in on San Fran. I sort of have to. Um, they're an absolute juggernaut. They've won 10 on the trot. They've beaten teams by like big, big scores. So the line was uh, nine and a half. And it's a, it's a good line, but I can get a dollar forty for San Fran minus three and a half or a dollar thirty three. Like, I'm gonna take that. They'll win they'll win this game. Whether it's over nine and a half is a different question, but they'll win this game quite comfortably at home. And Christian McCaffrey for fifty yards. Everyone knows San Fran, once they get a lead, they just run it down your throat. So I'm very confident in these two legs. Just a salute, Lewis. Yeah, I can't see us um, doing any damage. I had to go back to my man, Dars, Georgie Kittle, at $2.65. I'm a bit like you with Stefan Diggs, bit of a crack addict. But his last four games, he's had two tuds, one tud, two tuds, two tud. That's an unbelievable well, month Purdy for a loves end. him. I he's said at the start, as soon him. as Purdy came in, I said, rookie quarterbacks, they love their tight ends, and I've been you, proven you right. You did say that. I did say that. I just, $2.65, I can't say. A month ago, he played Seattle. He had two tuds and 93 yards. So I just love him. Yeah, 265 is a little bit risky, Dars, but I can't say no to Georgie Kittle. You can't. Well, you've backed Why in the last you? few weeks. You have to. Why would Coming you? to playoffs, you think he's going to get the ball. I'm just going to go for a trusty leg. Backed him a few times this year, boys. Brandon Oyuk for 25 plus yards at a dollar twenty. Nice little twenty dollar uh, twenty leg in here. That's His right. last three uh, games, boys, he's had 59, 101 yards, and 81. Uh, two games this year against Seattle, he's averaging 41 yards in those games. You think he'll just get a nice little one uh, and just run it up the line? Sideline. Let's get us a little tick and let's uh, try and get us off that Macca's bench, uh, boys. Next game, I don't have anything in this. Chargers, Jags. Very interesting. You've actually got a bet with Stenny, don't you? The, who, who would win a... I do. For a stake at Squires Loft, who will win a playoff game first? Lost. Uh, we'll, we'll, t- we'll touch back on that. I'm Fuck. all in on uh, Trevor Lawrence. I think he is a better quarterback than Justin Herbert, and I think he's going to be better for a long time. Stenny's all in Justin Herbert. He calls him Baby Jordan. It's a horrible call because he's 
got Mahomes, Burrow, Allen, all Baby Jordan. Him. Calls him Baby Jordan. It's a horrible call. So we've actually got a stake on this game. Whoever wins the other, oh, yeah, yeah, the other one owes him a stake. Does he? He calls him Baby Jordan. It's terrible. Anyway, legs in this game. Baby J. <laughs> so, yeah, I do like Jacksonville to win. Um, but I'm going to go Travis Etienne for 60 rushing yards. Yeah, boy. Last week, he only had 17. He had a bit of stinker, but they just had to win and get out of there. But the week before, he had 108. The week before that, 83. The week Went before that, tear. 103. He's actually a really good player. I feel like he's made for the playoffs. He's made to win this game. And then the absolute cash cow das is Austin Eckler. He scores TDs for fucking fun. Last two years, he's been incredible. So I'm going to go excellent. He's my steak and eggs, Austin Eckler. His line's only 50 and a half, and I'm going to go him for a touchdown as well. So I'm looking at his – last week he had a bad game, but that was – they didn't need to win that game. Before that, 122 and two tuds, 67 and two tuds, 58 one tud, and then 45 one tud. I think this is an absolute lock. He said on his own live stream that uh, his snap count was a bit low – to get him to playoffs. Now he's there. There's It's no holds bar. So he'll get 15 to 20 carries. He'll have over 50 yards and a touchdown with ease. Love Lewis. that. Yeah, uh, I'm with you, Jeff. Just love the Jags. I'm doing the Jags nine and a half. I couldn't believe the value I got. I forget actually what I did get. I think it was about dollar thirty-five. Dust. Plus they, nine and a half. Yeah, plus nine and a half. So they're plus cool. two and a half. So I've teased that up. So they won 38-10 in LA during the year. Trev had 247, three tuds. There's no Mike Williams. And I think that the Jags are playing with house money here. They've made the playoffs. 100%. There's not a lot that they expected more of maybe a one playoff win. But the Chargers are. They're not playing with house money at all. No. They, they're AFC championship or sort of bust really. So I just think, especially with that team being at home, I can't see the Jags getting blown out by any more than nine. As I said, I think they'll win. Um, and I'm betting accordingly. Yeah, I'd probably even take Jags just... The two and a half. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, just, I, No, but like that's why the fact you can get a dollar thirty for yeah. plus nine and a half is fucking a fantastic. Touchdown and a field goal plus the point five. It's I won't be taking anything in this one, boys. Next game, uh, Dolphins Bills. The start about halfway through the year, this would have looked like an unbelievable game with two obviously out. I reckon it's going to be all one way traffic. Jev, anything in this? Yeah, I know you've gone heavy in this game, Dar. So I left it alone. It's all yours, mate. Yeah, I left it alone, Dar. However, just with the Dolphins, we'll bring up that you do owe me a stake. Yeah, so we said uh, who would uh, win more games uh, by the end of the season, Packers and Dolphins. And the Packers, uh, Dolphins just got over the Jets. And I was like, well, look, we can go split even money here. Uh, and I fucking should have hedged my money on fucking Detroit just so I can pay. And Detroit fucking came out and beat the Packers. So I've got to owe you a fucking stake. So. Eight and three, the Dolphins were. What well up, mate? <laughs> Thank you. I got, a lot of, I got a lot of hate on that that predictions pod on YouTube too. If you go to the comments, there was a lot of people chirping and I'm not seeing any of them now. Yeah, so fuck them. All right, boys, I'll be taking Josh Allen. We said last week, coming into the playoffs, he's going to do whatever he has to to get this team into the next level, into the Super Bowl. So Josh Allen plus 225 yards, got Bill's money line, Stefan Diggs plus 60, and Stefan Diggs to score. Last week, boys, if you saw Josh Allen, he had 254 yards, three tuds, and Diggs as well was back with a touchdown and also 70 plus yards. I think these guys have been priming for the playoffs. I reckon they're going to get the job done uh, quite comfortably, and I think all those legs will salute very early. Next game, Jev, excited you're actually in the Playoffs. Well done. Giants, Vikings. I'm so bullish on the Giants. I'm so bullish so on the Giants in this game. Giants I think, points. I think our defense, if it's good enough to hold the Vikings to low points, Vikings I, think overrated. Our, I think our offense can 100% put points up on them. So bullish on the Giants. So I'm going to go Isaiah Hodgins. Who? Isaiah Hodgins. I know you've never heard of the bloke. He's the Giants. Who? He's the Giants, like fucking like third receiver. We're injured. He He's not that good. He's okay. I do like him. But. I get him for 25 yards at about a dollar forty. Last time we played the Vikings, he had 89 yards on eight catches. They're the worst pass defense I've ever They're seen. They're terrible, aren't they? We've got another receiver named Richie James that Morgs will touch on, who, yeah, we torture him. And then TJ Hawkinson. The Giants are terrible at defending the tight end. I think this is a TJ Hawkinson game. I'm getting him for 40 yards. All I know is that same game multi pays two to one, and I will gobble that up. Hawkinson, 40 yards, and. Hodgins for 25 yards. Lewis. This is great tag team betting because I sort of like the Giants as well, but I was too cowardly to put them in with any points. But I love that we've got two receivers. You've got Hodgins. As you said, I've got Richie James for 40 yards. Listen to his last seven games, Dust. 76, 90, 42, 61, 41, 48 receiving yards. Uh, That's a hell of a six weeks, seven weeks. Taking him for 40. So who would have thought? They're the 31 ranked defense, as you said, Dust. Uh, Jeb, sorry. Last time they played, he had 73 yards on eight catches. So sort of similar to your man, Hodges. So I'm just back in the form here, please, and thank you. Uh, mate, boys, I'll be taking your man, the man under centre in New York, Danny Legs. Danny Dimes, boys, for 25 rushing yards at twenty-six. This man runs for his life. Have a guess what he's averaging on the ground Tell this me. year. 44.25 a game. 
He's a stud. A dollar twenty six playoff game. You know who's going to do absolutely everything he can? Fake the handoff to Saquon. <laughs> Pull, run, mate. He 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 will get big chunk plays in this game. He, he, he could almost go for a hundred. Okay, he, his last game, like he played against. He the, wants this against the Colts was one of the best quarterback games of the season. He was unbelievable. I fucking love him. He had three rushing touchdowns and two passing in a game. He's gonna go nuts. Oh, oh, Jeff, he could actually him for a touchdown, a hundred yards. That's <laughs> that's gonna be a personal bet that I put on. <laughs> What's go. his stat line? Three thousand passing and seven hundred rushing or something. Yeah, that's he's an like, unbelievable he's like year. He's gone. Good, good, good on him. He's getting paid. I'm excited. He's our quarterback. I can finally get a Did chance. you even a leg? I do, actually. I've got my steak and eggs. So, locking it up. JJ, I'm just going hold a due here, Dust. Since Jai Alexander sort of chewed him out a little bit, he's been a little bit under the radar, I reckon. But this is his back. I think Kirk knows that similar to that Bills game they won during the year, he just threw to um, JJ about nine times in the second half and just told him to go up and get it. So, as I said, I don't know if his form's exactly there, but I'm just backing him on turf, in a dome. I love JJ here. 95.5, I think it is, steak and eggs, over. Nice. So let's fucking go. You know, I had to have a steak and eggs and just back good players. Yeah, you fucking back good players on good teams. All right, boys. Next game, we've got two to go. Ravens and Bengals. I reckon this could be one-way traffic as well, Jeff. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm just going to go Bengals minus three and a half. Put the line down a bit at $1.38. I think they just get it done. No Lamar. You can't see the Ravens working out victorious. I think the Ravens defense is great, and they're going to put up a fight, but I think the Bengals will work out the winners, and I'll take the three and a half. Lewis. <laughs> the original cash cow Give me Tyler Boyd for 25 yards I cashed on this last week Dust. 25? Play, yeah 25 yards They're playing the same opposition So why wouldn't I do it again They just draw so much up for Tyler Boyd He scores as well It's because T Higgins chased us They get so much attention So just Tyler Boyd He sneaks out the back He gets so so little coverage He had 51 last week against the Ravens I'm tipping him for 42 and a half That's what my numbers are saying Dust. So just give me 25 You'll get that in one cash Yeah you will. And a, probably a tad I have him for a tad. You know who else is going to get in when one catch? <laughs> oh, so, 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 someone had me words again. What? Joe Mixon steak and eggs, yes, boys. I've got to fuck, mate. If I'm going to win, I'm just got to back the guys that have let me down all year. <laughs> if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out on my shield. If it costs us 100K, boys, I really apologise. But I want Joe Mixon always going for rushing. Fuck, I'm taking him for receiving, boys. 25, 24.5 receiving yards. You know what he's averaging? What? 31.5 oh, a game. Come on. Bad. And guess what? Last week, he had five receptions for 41 yards. What? Come on. What, what? What? You don't reckon I'll bet it? You don't reckon get it's in there? It's on. Let's go. Steak and eggs, my man. Joe the Mix Man, the Mo Man. All right, boys. Last game, we have Dallas versus Tampa. Funny thing, boys. Uh, Tom Brady, 8-0 and o against the Cowboys. Never lost. I am so... Who's I'm, winning? No, I've got no idea with this yeah. game. Absolutely no idea. Dumper. I'm going up and back. One scoring, the other's boring. I don't know if you've heard that one, but Dallas... <laughs> D- Dak himself... Had played five less games. He missed five weeks with injury, so he played 12 games a season. He's scored more points than Tampa has the whole season wow. in his 12 games. But I also like Tampa. Well, I, hope, I actually hope Tom wins. That'd anyway, be fucking Tom unreal. Brady, 225 yards. I just needed a little multi filler to get to my quota, but he broke his own record for most pass attempts in, an, in a season last week. He throws the shit out of it. They're the worst running team I've ever fucking seen. So Tom Brady, 225, $1.23. That'll tick. That's in the 100K multi. Lewis. It's a great bet, Darth. It's one of the weirdest things where they just know they can't run the ball. It's just, it's very bizarre. I don't like backing usually Tampa receivers, but I've got sucked in. I just had a look at Chris Goblin's game log, Darth. His last five games had 55, 120, 63, 83, 54. You'll notice they're all over 50 yards. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just going to take 50 yards. I got a dollar 54 for that. Couldn't believe it. So you know they're going to go out swinging, especially Tom. So yeah. in those 225 yards, give 50 to Goblin and 30 to Mixon. That could almost be. <laughs> Jeff, him 225, what was that pay one out? That, that, could, a, that could be like a bet of like. <laughs> they're they're going to go out on these fucking... He's Does just going to be it, tossing it. Yeah, you might have 10 on it. Boys, I'll be taking playoff Lenny for 25 yards. They have to establish some sort of run. That big fucking brute of a man. He'll, he'll fucking touch us up for 25. And Tony Pollard, boys, he's had a good year. We know the Cowboys is still going to be trying to run it. They have to do it. Tony Pollard is a superstar. 40 plus rushing yards. Those two together, boys, 215. Like that. If these... Fucking lose Well I'll be at McDonald's But I don't reckon boys I reckon I'm on I reckon I'm going 9 from 9 this week I, 100% I love these legs By the way If we all lose And we somehow happen to Even on percentage To the 60%. decimal point We're all we'll spending go one decimal We're, we're going yeah, one, one decimal. decimal We're all spending 24 hours at McDonald's Which would be Fucking unbelievable Fuck. I'd love it Jeb Read out the multi for us My good man also, uh, After I read this out You've got to explain We're actually doing 200k multis This week <laughs> Two <laughs> 
We've got two on. Well, I'll read it out and then we'll explain it. All righty, here we go. So 100K, you need 10 bucks to win $104,995 and one cent. Get your notepad out. Ayuk, 25 yards. Yep. Tick. Sam Fran, minus three and a half. Yep. Tick. McCaffrey, 50. Tick. George Kittle to score. Tick. Great start. Great start. <laughs> EDN 60 yards, Eckler over 50 and a half, Eckler to score, Jacksonville plus nine and a half. Dig. Allen 225, Buffalo to win, Diggs for 60, Diggs to score. Dig. Daniel Jones for 25 rushing, Dig. Hawkinson for 40 receiving, Hodgins for 25 <laughs> receiving, Richie James 40 receiving, Jefferson over 95 and a half, Mixon over 24 and a half receiving, Dig. Bengals minus three and a half, Tyler Boyd for Dig. 25 receiving. Lenny Fournette for 25 receiving, rushing. Tony Pollard for 40, rushing. Brady 225. And Godwin for 50 receiving yards. Oh, that's good. Oh, you that's get that? Good. Methodical. You get that? Yeah, Jeff. Now, we do have another multi on Jeff. Talk us through it. What are we trying to do here? Oh, I like this. This is so the Saturday game, Sunday game. The last thing we want to be is out by tomorrow. We don't, man. We won't be. There's two, ga- there's two games on Sunday. It's unlikely, but we just don't want it to... Roll up, and we're not even got a leg on. So, we're having a ten dollar bet for tomorrow's game, so Sunday our time, Saturday America time. America, S- ten dollars. You know, we turn ten dollars into hundred k. San Fran minus three and a half. McCaffrey to score. McCaffrey for sixty yards. Tick. Into Jacksonville plus nine and a half. EDN to score. Christian Kirk for forty yards. Yeah, ten bucks on that. You win ninety two dollars eighty six. And what are we doing with that? Win, if that wins, we're having the whole ninety two dollars eighty six. On the day after to win the hundred k, so I only need to pay a thousand to one. Easy money. E- we'll fucking get there. This is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> you get this? Oi. Yeah. We're going to broadcast this to you, and you better take this information and, and put all your fucking hard earned dollars on this. Because we're going to story soon in this bet, and you get on it, and when you turn your ten into ninety two, get ready for the multi that's going to win you hundred k. When you say you're getting this, how many people do you reckon are getting this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to you. <laughs> so can you just refer? So it's 61%. 61, 60%. 59. 59. Loser, 24 hours. Mac-y at McDonald's. Days. The only way to shorten the 24 hours is by eating Big Macs. A Big Mac gets you an hour off the clock. 10 Big Macs, you're still looking at 14 hours. Woo! What would Morgan's line on Big Macs? If I was to say 12 and a half. He'd go over. It's oh, I don't know. I tell you what, I just had a look. So we also said your steak and egg. So we needed them to mean something, Das. We can't just—they can't be charity. So the, peop- just, yeah. the, the two people that aren't going to Macca's for the twenty-four hours Still going. have to eat a Big Mac for every wrong leg. Now I had a month where I just didn't have a steak and egg, so that's cost me. Maybe I threw it on purpose. But I've got at least ten Big Macs I have to eat regardless. <laughs> so I'm spewing. Fuck. That's I've hilarious. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine Big Macs. Yeah. Whether I'm going to Macs or not. That's <laughs> a Mac fest. <laughs> You're kidding. Nine. <laughs> no, isn't it? Nine hours. No, no it's not. It's, it's nine, nine hours. Nine hours and yeah, a Big Mac's a knockoff. Yeah, yeah, same thing. I'm not staying for over 45 minutes. That's what I mean. <laughs> I'll just, you're right. I'll, maybe I'll do Polish them off. Hey. Seven Big Macs in two hours. You're kidding. Oi, it's been fantastic to be part of it. Um, oi, the broadcast is coming live and into your ear holes. Hey, fantastic production today. Everyone behind the cameras. Benj, you're an absolute skirt. Um, Morgs, you're looking fantastic. Hey, ha- everyone have a great weekend. Um, and I'm sorry for being me. Giants win 27 um, 24. Best bet of the week. Ren- Renegades. <laughs> Big best, best NFL man of the league. Oh, it has to be Tom Brady 225. It has <laughs> to be. Go. I wish I wish I was my leg. Chili, <laughs> baby back grabs. <laughs> Ribs. <laughs> Miniscus. <laughs> Michael Mercury. Mercury. Miniscus. Michael Miniscus.